Here's a variation on the box method. Eight, four, two, divided by four. We're going to take our divisor outside of the box and put 842 in the box this time instead of along the side as we've done before. And we're going to think, how many times can we take 4 into 842? You might be thinking that 4 goes into the first number, 8, two times. What we're really saying is 200 because 4 is going into 842. So we'll do this. Multiply it back out. We have the two zeros here for the, the, the zeros on the 200. And then 2 times 4 is 8. This time we will do the subtraction within the box. And bring the 42 up to the next box. How many times does 4 go into 4? Well, it goes in one time, but I'm in the tens column, so I'm going to put a 0 on that. 10 times 4 is 40. Subtract, I get 2. 2 is smaller than the 4, so I know that I'm finished. This is the remainder. So if I uh, take the expanded number and put it all together, reconstruct it, we've got 210, remainder 2. And that's the answer to this problem. So our subtraction, instead of going along the side like we've done before, happens within the boxes. 4, 7, 9, 3, divided by 9. The 9 is our divisor. The 4,793 is the dividend. So we'll start working with that. 9. How many times does 9 go into 4? Well, it doesn't, so I'm going to move over to small. 9 divides into 47 5 times. 5 times 4, or 5 times 9 is 45. So I will put a 500 here because we, we are saying that 9 goes into 47, and the 7 is in the 100 spot, so we have to put our two zeros on. Now we'll multiply it back. Here are our two zeros, and 9 times 5 is 45 and subtract right in the box. 3, 9, 7, take away 5, is 2. And of course, the two fours are 0. So our remainder is 293, which is higher than the 9. So we're going to bring that to the next box. How many times does 9 go into 2? Well, two is too small, so we've got to move over and look at 29. Well, 9 times 3 is 27, so let's put a 3 up here. But we're in the tens place, so we have to put a 0 here to show that it's really 30 times. The 0 comes down, because we, when we, if we multiply anything times 0, it's 0. 3 times 9 is 27. Subtract. 3. 9 take away 7 is 2. 23 is still bigger than 9, so we're going to need another box. And bring the 23 up. 9 will not go into 2. It has to, we have to think of uh, some number that is um, 
close to 23 now. 9 times 2 is 18. 2 times 9 is 18. Let's subtract. 13 take away 8 is 5. 5 is smaller than 9, so that's our remainder. These are added together, so we're going to take our number and reconstruct it. 532, remainder 5.